Hello everyone, my name is Atish and I welcome you all in this learning video. So without much ado, let us start this learning video. As you all know that, that we are learning probability. Okay. So in today's class, uh, let us uh, take uh, a simple example first and then we will continue. So suppose we have bag A, bag B and bag C. These are three bags. And these bags contain some marbles, say red marbles and say red marbles and blue marbles. Okay, so these are red marbles and blue marbles and say. So these are three bags and uh, we it contains uh, some marbles, uh, red marbles and blue marbles. Now you know that how to find out the probability of uh, red marble or uh, white marbles. Okay. Now you can also find the probability of choosing marble from bag A or B or C. Now let us make it more interesting. Uh, it would be very interesting if we found out. Uh, if we have to find the probability, uh, probability of drawing a specific uh, ball from the particular bag, okay, and this can be done by Bayes' theorem. So before we start Bayes' theorem, let me tell you the Bayes' theorem uses the concept of conditional probability. So I would like you to go through the video lecture which is on. Uh, conditional probability first and then you can continue with this video lecture okay so the topic of this video lecture is base theorem okay so let me uh, write down the statement of base theorem so the statement of base theorem says if If E1, E2, EN are mutually exclusive and an exhaustive event and exhaustive events. And E be an event and E be any event such that such that the probability of these events is greater than zero where I vary from zero to n. Okay. Then then Prove that, then prove that probability of E k by E or E k given E is equal to what is it? Probability of E k into probability of E upon summation k equal to 1 to n probability of E k into probability of let me check probability of E given E k upon probability of this E given E k ok this is what we have to prove for 0 less than equal to k less than equal to n ok now we have to uh, prove this but before this uh, let us uh, let us uh, see the bias, what this bias theorem says. The statement says if E1 into E are mutually exclusive and exhaustive events and E be an event such that probability of all the events EI are greater than 0, then we have to prove this. Okay. Now, uh, for any random experiment, we always have a sample space. So, let us start with the sample space. So, let me write down the proof. Let S be a sample space, 
like as the sample space of a random experiment of a random experiment and we are given that and e be any event and e be any event okay so we have started with this and also we are given that as e1 e2 e n are mutually exclusive and exhaustive event and exhaustive events then then the sample space is nothing but the union of all these events e1 e2 e n okay now as we are given that these events are mutually exclusive and exhaustive then the sample space is nothing but the union of all this okay also also e is any event and we know that the event is a subset of sample space right so we can write one thing here as as e is an event it must be a subset of s it may be a equal subset or it may be a subset of s okay so for the time being i am saying it is a subset of s then i can write this event e as e intersection s okay e can be written as e intersection s now that is e can be written as e intersection what is s this s is union of all these events so let me write down this e1 union e2 union and so on union e n okay now what we are going to do is now we are going to distribute we are going to apply the distributive law so the moment you apply the distributive law it will gives you e intersection e1 union e intersection e2 union and so on e e intersection e n okay this is my e now i am going to take the probability of e so now taking the probability of e so what does probability of e will gives you it is like probability of e intersection e1 plus probability of e intersection e2 plus probability of e intersection e n so this is what probability is okay now i can write this uh, same as uh, in terms of uh, a general or generalized form the same thing can be written in generalized form as that is probability of e is equal to what is it summation k is equal to 1 to n probability of e intersection e k and say this is to be my equation number 1 okay now once you get this equation now make use of the definition of conditional probability in the very beginning of this lecture only i have told you that the bayes theorem uh, uses the concept of uh, conditional probability so now i am going to write it as therefore by the definition by the definition of conditional probability 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 one can write what we are going to write probability of e given ek and how we write probability of e given ek this is nothing but probability of e intersection ek upon probability of e k and say this is to be equation number 2 now using equation 1 and 2 i can write using equation 1 and 
or or what I can say is using uh, this in equation one we get I will write it here from one and two we get what we get probability of e is equal to summation k is equal to one to n and what is probability of e intersection e k it is nothing but the multiplication of this two so this can be written as probability of e k into probability of e given e k okay so we got this probability and say this is to be equation number say three okay now we will make use of uh, equation two and three to get the solution okay now what we have to prove the left hand side is probability of what is it e k by e or probability of e k given e so what is uh, by the definition of conditional probability what one can write this is like probability of e intersection e k upon probability of e okay we have probability of e intersection e k and we have probability of e just substitute to get the result so probability of e intersection e k is probability of e into probability of e given e k upon what is probability of e from equation 3 summation k is equal to 1 to n probability of e k into probability of e given e k if you want you can write here by 2 and 3 and if you remember this is what we wanted to get so this is the required result okay so you have seen the very simple proof of this uh, base theorem now the what is the significance of this base theorem so the significance of the base theorem is nothing but uh, it can rotate the conditional probability of uh, e k given e into another conditional probability p of e given e k that is the significance of this uh, base theorem which convert one conditional probability into the another okay so i hope this uh, video lecture is making sense and thank you for watching this learning video in the very upcoming lectures we'll take some of some of the examples on this base theorem okay so thank you for watching this learning video